Well, hello, scrappers. And uh, I recently put out a series of videos on using uh, Eco Goldex in my scaled up system. And those videos are getting really long. So rather than further lengthen them, I'm going to release uh, a few short videos here and there explaining different aspects of uh, different aspects of the system of using this. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a couple of things solar heating. All right, I like to work out of plastic buckets for the most part on my on my um, scaled up system, and I live in Florida where it's hot. I came out this morning. I put this bucket. This has the Eco Gold X stripper in it. I put this bucket out in the sun first thing this morning. It's now a little afternoon. I had the lid on it. It is super hot. It is ready to go. Now, if you live in a cooler environment or here during the winter, what I'll do is I'll put an immersion heater in there and heat up the liquid. Or again. You can dump this into like a stainless steel pot and heat it up and then dump it back in the bucket if you want to. But uh, solar heating is your friend for this. So that's one way to go. Now I've been running some of my higher grade scrap through here uh, in this batch. Uh, in the series of videos I did a while back I was running lower grade stuff. So I'm running my high grade stuff. I'm just about out of high grade stuff. It's going quick because I have found that more agitation gets the gold off quicker. So, you know, you put the stuff in, you just leave it. Well, that's not going to work too well because um, the liquid's not circulating, it's not agitating. Uh, the liquid immediately adjacent to the fingers or the pins or whatever is going to get saturated with gold and it's going to stop stripping. What you need to do is you need to agitate it. And I'm giving us some serious agitation here. This is, this is Maytag type agitation, okay? And you would be amazed at how fast the gold comes off when you're doing this. It's almost before your very eyes. I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the close trim fingers I have in there already have at least easily half the gold off. And it's only been a few minutes. This has happened in real time. This isn't speeded up. So, yeah, agitation really helps a lot. Oh, yeah. I'd say we're up to like three quarters of the gold gone on most of that stuff now. It's just that quick. It's amazing. Like, the, the more you agitate this, the better it works and the quicker it works. Oh yeah, I am almost seeing all. I don't. I, I can't really see much of any gold left in there. Maybe a couple of spots. So we'll give it a little more. And that's it. I don't see any more gold. And then if you do this in this tall bucket, you do this really fast. You're going to fling all of the remaining liquid off of them so you got less carryover into the rinse water. And that's a beautiful thing too. You don't want so much carryover into the rinse water. And then sort of wring them dry like that. And now I'll dump them out on, the, on my bench over there and I'll sort through them. And anything that still has some gold on it will go into the next batch. But really, I'm not seeing much in the way of gold from here. Like I say, I will have to sort through it. But uh, it's looking pretty good. And I think uh, less time in the stripper means the stripper has less chance to take out base metals like copper and tin too. As soon as the, the gold is gone, you pull it right out and put it in the rinse water and stop the process. You know, you don't, don't let it sit in there and, and keep... Um, keep stripping off base metals. You don't want that because uh, you don't want it wasting its stripping power on base metals. You want it to just mainly strip the, the precious metals off. And uh, looking pretty good. Yeah, so it's a beautiful thing doing it that way. And you saw how quick that was. That was real time. I have gone through, I did five or six loads of high grade scrap yesterday just that fast. In the afternoon the liquid was good and hot. The hotter you get it, the faster it strips. More agitation, the faster it strips. That gold was coming off right before my eyes. 
And uh, like I said, I'm almost out of high grade stuff. I'm going to have to uh, uh, start filling the basket up with the lower grade stuff and use up the rest of the stripping power in the Eco Gold X. And then, uh, then I can uh, adjust the pH in it and cement out whatever gold it contains. All right, I was talking about solar heating the buckets earlier to uh, get the Eco Gold X up to temperature for stripping. Well, I've switched to using uh, um, Lowe's dark blue buckets with black lids. And I'll tell you what, even on a fairly overcast day like today, in a couple of hours, the liquid in this bucket will be hot enough to start processing stuff. Um, so, solar heating is a beautiful thing. Take advantage of it. All right. So that's, that's sort of an Eco Gold X short. Uh, I hope you found this interesting, useful. Give the video a thumbs up if so. Give it a like. Uh, subscribe to see future videos. They'll be coming out on all kinds of different subjects. Uh, press the bell icon that YouTube makes you press to be notified when those videos come out. And thanks for watching. Bye. Happy scrapping.